Gary Francona said what I love about Tristan is that they have to respect his fastball, right? Because it has life through the zone. You want to see him in October? I think not, Dero. That you're a hundred percent right. So I wanted to go back and chronicle it because he punched out 14 a couple weeks ago against the White Sox, and then he backs that up with 13 more punch outs. So I wanted to say to myself, did he attack him the same way? Did he deviate from the plan? The bottom line is Shane Bieber, Dr. Sticks, Tristan McKenzie, Cal Quantrill, Classe, Karen Check, they got weapons, okay? And they force you to beat them. They are fundamentally sound. They play the game the right way. They're aggressive on the base pass. They know who they are. So you're going to have to beat them because they're not going to beat themselves in October. But he was dominant. And what I love about him, walking off the mound, kind of like a showman, taking it all in. There's a lot of guys who get to the big leagues. There's not a lot of guys who embrace the moment and want the moment come October, and especially in these last two starts against the White Sox. Let's get in to Tristan McKenzie right here because he was always that uber prospect for the Guardians, right? He just couldn't stay healthy in the minor, minor leagues. Now he has put it all together, and he has been dominant for this team. Really has. What a complimentary piece in this rotation with Shane Bieber. Okay? The unbelievable slider that he throws. This thing is a heater for 59 feet, and then see you later. And then he's got ride with his heater through the zone. A devastating breaking ball. Unbelievable stuff. Okay? So pause this real quick for me. We went back last month on the, on the 19th, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. He dominated them. Seven innings, 14 punch outs. And I wanted to say to myself, how did he attack them? How did he strike these guys out? Did he come at them with a certain pitch? Because last night it was obvious. He had a little ride on his fastball through the zone, but he was wiping everybody out with this nasty breaking ball. So, J Mac, can you bring that board up comparing? Okay, look, other 27 starts. He's throwing his four seam fastball and he'll elevate it at the top of the zone almost 57% of the time. Slider, curve, kind of right there at 21%. Equal distribution. August 19th, this is how he attacked them, right? Deviated a little bit more off his, off his four seam fastball and incorporated more of a slider curve. His slider is really different than a lot of people. Almost comparable to a Justin Verlander. It's got that kind of Bend, I almost feel it's a little hotter though. It's not, it's not this east to west. It's more this kind of northeast, southwest, like real hard and downward action. So how did he attack him? Did he make any adjustments? Why would I make any adjustments? I just punched you out 14 times. He came back with this same deviation of pitches. So let's get back into the tape. Because I don't want to pick on Andrew Vaughn, but he has had a, a mid pause this. He has had an amazing season for this team, okay? He never, from start to finish, let them down. 286, 17 homers, 73 RBIs, a 792 OPS. He's hitting every spot in the order for this team and has been one of their better offensive players with Jose Abreu and Aloy Jimenez. Okay, first AB on the 19th of August. How are we going to attack him? Run this. How do you get to the big leagues, right? You better be able to hit a fastball. And I know Andrew Vaughn, who was top five pick in the draft, can hit a heater coming out of Cal. We know that. But Tristan McKenzie, little ride through the zone, six foot four, six foot five. So how's he going to attack him? Punches him out on three heaters. Look, you can tell Vaughn's starting to get upset. Run that back for me. You saw five fastballs in a row, top of the zone. You're telling yourself, why am I not squaring this thing up? I'm one of the best hitters in the game. Run this slider. I mean, that's heater, 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 heater. See you later. I don't think anybody's hitting that. And look at him get fired up. So I wanted to see, pause this. How is he going to come in to guaranteed rate field and attack him? Was it going to be any different? Run it. I mean, he showed him an occasional slider. There's no question about it. But he gave him heater and heaters and heater counts. Run that back for me. This is what you dream of as a hitter right here. 1-0, no thought process. Bottom of second, I'm looking fastball middle away, and I am crushing this thing to dead center. Run it. Why do I keep fouling that heater off? Now I don't even know where the slider is. 
Nasty slider again, 2-2 two, two count. How I'm, I'm still on the heater. Nasty breaking ball, see you later. And he had a good one last night. He really did. Gets in a heater count right here. Where's he going? Why am I not squaring this pitch up? I have had a great season all year. I have faced other guys in this league, other guardians in this league. Not too long ago, I got a heater, see you later. Another heater, got him. And it's freezing cold out. <laughs> Why can I not get to this guy's fastball? And once he was able to get ahead, it's nasty slider, nasty breaking ball all night. Mm. And then he gets you kind of indecisive. You want to get on this fastball, but you can't do it. And you foul it off again in a great hitter's count. And see you later. So you can tell Andrew Vaughn was frustrated, but let's give Tristan McKenzie love because he wants the moment. He's going to get to pitch in October, and he has been dominant against the White Sox the last two times out. Pretty love special. what you said about how they're not going to beat themselves. No, they won't. Perfect. You can tell. No, they uh, they totally uh, different than every other. The yeah, way, yeah, the way they right? go about it's a it. Different they brand have to of be. baseball. Yeah. And it's exciting. They're, they're an exciting bunch to watch. The magic number to clinch the division is down to seven. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I, <coughs> gracious. That's, Airball? Yeah, a little bit. Can we get me a, a water or something? Uh, okay, so the lead right now is six, but it's essentially seven because the Guardians own the tiebreaker over the White Sox. The Royals and Tigers, they better get going if they want to. Uh... Well, I got a bone to pick with the Royals. Okay, we'll, yep. we'll, we'll talk about that a We're little gonna bit. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it.